Hello everyone, Karnasa here and welcome to another Kerbal Space Program video on this channel and today it should be a very topical one indeed, considering at some point this week we should hopefully see Starship SN9 perform its high altitude test. For the first two and a half minutes of this video I am going to be designing this, if you want to skip ahead to the launch well, skip ahead to 2 minutes 30. I am going to be using procedural parts to make this build rather than a dedicated SpaceX mod. I feel that way I can better mold this to exactly how I want it. I am playing with realism overhaul, so we are going to be concerned with real fuels, ullage, and all of the issues that come along with that mod. I have now just placed three of those Raptor engines on the bottom of this underneath the massive nine meter diameter core stainless steel tank. That is a really nice option with realism overhaul procedural parts. You can actually make that tank the stainless steel tank that Starship will be using. I have used a procedural fairings boat tail adapter for the bottom of this. That is where I have tucked away those Raptor engines. Right now I am placing on some cameras because I did want to try and get some cool camera shots of those engines as we fire them up. But now I am going to be working on the part that took by far the longest for this build and I do want to give out a bit of a disclaimer, this isn't going to be the final build. I did have to come in and I did have to edit these flaps several times in order to make this craft actually aerodynamic. It was rather difficult fine tuning these and one issue that I was having with the top flaps is they wouldn't quite go flat, they wouldn't go perpendicular to the Starship and that's because I had rotated them and the way B9 aerospace wings work, well, it doesn't allow you to do that, at least the way that I was doing it. So there was a lot of changes when it came to these wings. It was, yeah, by far the most difficult part of this build. And of course, because this is a recreation, I do want this to look as close to the actual Starship as I possibly can. So I feel <laughs> that the cylinder, the cylinder in the middle was easy. I just needed to make a nine meter diameter cylinder, a giant grain solo, if you will. But doing the wings, duh, the wings were much, much, much harder. But I feel like I managed to get them pretty much as close as I possibly could. But there we go. We have a finished starship. So here we are at Brownsville, Texas. Unfortunately, with Real Solar System, as far as I'm aware, there isn't any Boca Chica. So we have gone for the next best location. I believe this is actually only 20 miles away from Boca Chica. So we're pretty close, but not exactly there. Anyway, we have fired up those three Raptor engines. The Methalox is burning now, and we are on our way to 12 and a half kilometers. That is, of course, the height where we have been given clearance to go to. And <laughs> obviously, SpaceX is having a bit of an issue with the FAA at the moment, considering this, well, regarding this flight anyway. So it would be a real shame if we were to break that 12 and a half kilometers. Spoiler alert. I break that 12 and a half kilometers by accident. We go to 13 kilometers. It's not too far off, but it was just a little bit of over eager burning by me to get that high. I probably should have throttled down way sooner, but oh well. Yeah, there we can see that we have actually broken 12 and a half kilometers and I am still burning. I think what was going through my head at this point was I am going to use atmospheric drag to slow me down, which is why I am starting to tip the Starship over. Not just for that, but to also begin preparations for our glide back down to the safety of Earth. Trust me, this is not the first time I attempted this launch. This took quite a few launches to get the ideal profile that I wanted for this flight. Right now, what we are going to be doing is we are going to be transferring fuel within the Starship. I want to move it from that top tank to the bottom tank to shift my center of mass around that actually means we are able to control this on the way down so that we are capable of performing a glide safely back down to the surface of Earth and not come screaming down nose first that would have happened if I would have kept all of that fuel in the top tank. I was also having a little bit of an issue with roll control with this craft in the fact that I really didn't have any. Those wings, those flaps weren't doing all that much. If I am going to be particularly honest, I was quite fortunate that I was able to get the Starship in this orientation so that we could use those wings as control surfaces. If it had been rolled over to 90 degrees, then we would have been pretty much stuffed. 
with any kind of control over this craft whatsoever. And like I did just mention, the roll control really, really was not nice to play with whatsoever. But here we can see we are just about to make it through the cloud layer now. We are only 4,000 meters above the surface of Earth, and we are coming down at a nice, slow and steady 120 meters per second. And of course, our velocity is coming down due to the fact that we are entering a thicker part of the atmosphere, and we are really slowing ourselves down by being in this orientation. We need to get ready for the all-important belly flop maneuver, though. And in order to do this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer all of the fuel to the bottom tank, that way, our center of lift will be above our center of mass and we should start pointing upwards. There we go, I have tried to light the Methalox engines yet again, but I forgot to unlock the tank, so that didn't go well. And so there we go, they have finally reignited and the Starship is going to perform a bit of a flip around. Unfortunately, because I forgot to unlock those tanks, well, we started our burn a little bit too late and we came down far too hard. How about we try that again? So thankfully, because I made a quick save, we were able to go to a point that really wasn't too far back. And this time, I am going to make sure that I do unlock those tanks. We have moved our fuel over yet again. We are turning and we have lit up those three Raptor engines, this time with plenty of time to spare. And now it is just a case of controlling our throttles so that we bring ourselves nice and slowly down to the surface of Earth. We are now only 100 meters away and yes, 10 meters per second and slowing down. We have successfully brought SN9 down with no rapid unplanned disassembly. Thank you for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, why not give it a like? If you've really enjoyed it and want to keep up with the content on my channel, please do consider subscribing. I would like to thank Bible Guy for the support and of course the rest of my patrons for their continued support as well. I have been Karnasa and I will see you later.